You know that Tsipkin was a very special person, extremely talented. He could catch new ideas immediately. He could, uh, when PhD students visited him, I am doing this, he, he was able immediately to say, do this and this and this. No mistakes. He was extremely optimistic person. And until now, people remember his jokes. It's, uh, it was any meeting of scientific council was some kind of performance if Tsipkin participated. And I knew him uh, pretty well. I knew him pretty well. And when uh, I attended many conferences together with him, and I always enjoyed contacting him, contacting him. And <clears throat> at the same time, he was very democratic. Everybody could knock at this door. Now it's written Baristo Polek, but before it, re it was written Yakov Tsipkin. He was in the same uh, study. Everybody could knock. He postponed everything. Tell me, what is your problem? What is your problem? So I believe that it's history of institute and his biography is the same in my point he has uh, so many students of him many pupils and many of them are very famous now uh, and uh, uh, you know we have this top degree uh, in the academic field academician so um, several his uh, students are now academicians, or the, some of them have passed away, but nevertheless. Um, so uh, he was uh, happy to have many people uh, whom uh, he encouraged, and uh, many of them started to work with him, but they uh, then they found uh, they. Uh, own um, line of research and continued it and so many uh, if you ask in our country uh, people that you will very often uh, listen that uh, I, um, uh, Tsipkin was my teacher. You know that we had tradition after defending PhD uh, we had some kind of banquet and if Tsipkin participated in this banquet, <laughs> it's a lot of humor, laughing, and uh, and sometimes he teasel. What is this word in English? <coughs> if somebody uh, kidding, kicking, kidding, oh, kidding, kidding somebody, oh, but making like, uh, like he push you. Yes, yeah. he did, he did it permanently, but uh, it it didn't hurt anybody. Everybody laughed, so it was very bright, very bright guy, very bright guy. He was he was theoretician mainly, and in control theory there, there exists a theory of discrete time systems. And he and his very close friend, Jury from the States, uh, they created this theory practically in the world. It's, it's recognized by everybody, and then. He started adaptation a chapter of control science in the Soviet Union. He, he made a plenary presentation in Odessa in 1965, where he outlined the range of the problems. And everybody understood that it's very prospective, and many people were involved into this area. <coughs> and before he joined the institute. He had, he was involved in some application-oriented uh, areas, including so-called relay systems, relay systems. And after that, he published monography about this type of systems. And my professional activity is uh, connected to systems with switching control actions, and when uh, I am invited to make survey about what I'm doing. 
my first transparency, the title of my presentation, second transparency is copy of the cover of Zipkin's book. That Zipkin was a person who initiated the studies. Uh, you know that uh, uh, he used great respect of colleagues, of colleagues. Well, first I knew him uh, not personally. I knew his works, and uh, they were exciting, and uh, they were say about uh, discrete time systems, uh, about relay systems, uh, nonlinear control, uh, and they were very clearly written and so on. Then uh, he came with. And, uh, his uh, the ideas about adaptation, learning, and so on. Uh, actually, it exploited the tools of statistics, uh, by, uh, tools of uh, so-called stochastic approximation. And uh, at that time, I came to this laboratory uh, headed by him and was involved in this research. And it was... Uh, a lot of fun for me, a lot of pleasure because while well, uh, we uh, communicated here with him the whole day and then sometimes we called each other and when uh, he um, spent a few days on uh, vacations he came with a uh, big uh, uh, note, um, notebook uh, uh, with uh, written um, uh, notes, uh, and we immediately started to discuss uh, his new ideas and so on. And uh, so we collaborated very actively for a long time, and it was, uh, as I said, a real pleasure for me because. Uh, he was not only a great scientist, but he was, of course, a great personality. Uh, he was very kind. It is hard to imagine, but he had no enemies at all. Uh, he always spoke about everybody in very calm, uh, in very polite and uh, uh, respective way. Uh, and uh, he always was uh, um, smiling, uh, uh, he was an optimist. And uh, unfortunately, I, uh, he passed away uh, early, but I remember our talk with him just a few days uh, um, before his death. And he said, Boris, uh, to summarize, and I don't know why it was his idea to summarize uh, his life, because at that time he was healthy enough, but he said that to summarize my life, I would say that I was lucky and I was uh, happy, uh, because all my life I uh, worked uh, in the field which I liked. I got some success, but not uh, that is that important. But uh, um, mainly, I loved it, and uh, so it is my main impression.